Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. It's the 22nd of December. We're getting at a wee bit closer to Christmas and we're going to um, read another little bit today about the wise men in our Advent readings. So it's Matthew uh, chapter 2 verses 12 to 15. Let's hear what God's word says. When it was time to leave, they, that's the wise men, returned to their own country by another route. For God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. After the wise men were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, flee to Egypt with the child and his mother, the angel said. Stay there until I tell you to return, because Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. That night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother, and they stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet, I called my son out of Egypt. Amen. Can you imagine being the wise men? Can you imagine after all that time journeying to see um, the one who is promised to be king of the Jews, as they put it, uh, to see, see the Messiah, that God appears to them in a dream and says, look, you can't go back the way you came. You've got to go a different way because it's too dangerous. How they would have felt. They probably would have felt uh, scared, nervous, apprehensive, not quite sure what to do. But even in the midst of all of that, they were obedient. They listened to what God had told them in the dream and they they go home by a different way. In other words, they, they don't go near the palace. They um, slip by the side road instead uh, and head back to wherever it was that they came from. They were obedient. Like I say, even though it was dangerous, they obeyed. Often we are called to be obedient when it's difficult, when it's dangerous. When we're not quite sure what to do, we are have to, we are called to be, we're called to follow God. Following God is not always easy. Following God will bring danger. It will think, bring challenges. It will bring obstacles at times. But their obstacles are not put in the way by God. They're put in the way by others. They're put in the way by those who want to stop God's word from spreading. And we need to hold on to God. He will get us past those obstacles and past those barriers because he is faithful, he is true, he is strong. He's the one who's in charge at the end of the day. We just need to trust him. Easier said than done. But it is about trusting God. It's about having faith. And Christmas time is all about having faith. It's about believing or trusting about the story of Jesus. Do we believe it's true? Do you believe that Jesus came and was born as a baby? Do we believe that Jesus lived on earth and died for our sins? Do we believe that Jesus is now in heaven um, to, to intercede for us, to, to, to tell God that that person has trusted me? Um, you don't have to judge them. Do, do we believe the whole, the whole Bible? Do we have faith? These wise men demonstrated great faith. And yeah, it, it's just incredible what they did. We're called to do the same. I trust the day that you would have the boldness to stand up, you would have the faith to stand up, that you would have the confidence to trust God and what he's asking you to do. Maybe God this Christmas is asking you to go in a completely different direction in your life. Maybe he's asking you to do something which you feel is outside your comfort zone, something which you feel is foolish maybe, but God is asking. The question is, will we say yes? Or will we try to go our own way? Let's pray. Father, again, thank you for the amazing story of your son Jesus and his journey here to earth and everything else that's could, that, that happens at that same time. Lord, it's, it teaches us to have faith. It teaches us to trust you. It teaches us that you know everything and we know so little. So Lord, we just need to have that faith. Today, Lord, help us to have faith in you. Help us to trust you. Help us to follow you. For it's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks. See you again tomorrow morning. Take care. God bless.